In this video, I'm gonna be showing you self-operating computer framework, which is a new open source project that allows you to enable multimodal models to operate your computer. So if you have a particular action and you imagine you wanna accomplish that, so you wanna Google for some information and you're using your mouse to open up Chrome and you're typing in all the commands and whatnot, this aims to actually take out all those steps and just take in that prompt and it will go ahead and move your mouse around and input what it needs to input. And it's a pretty interesting interesting project. So this is also a brand new project. There are definitely going to be bugs, but this is very much on the cutting edge of things that are possible with GPT-4's Vision API. So I expect this project will get uh, a lot better very quickly over time as there is more um, contributions to, to this. So the first thing you're going to need to get set up with the project is just go over to the GitHub repository. So you can find it in the description of the video here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and pull down the repo. So whatever you do to pull down your repos, I'm just going to copy the uh, GitHub command here and paste it within the terminal. So once that's all installed, so I had a completely empty directory here and this folder I'm just gonna CD into. So I'm gonna do everything from scratch so you can see all the different steps. So once we've done that, we're just gonna run through a handful of the steps here. So I'll just make this a little bigger so hopefully you can see it all right. And first we're going to just set up a virtual Python environment. So uh, most of these steps are pretty quick in uh, the execution time uh, to get it all set up. It will have to install some dependencies, so it will take just a second to do that. But one thing to note with all of this is you will need Python 3 installed. So if you're running into any errors when you go ahead and run this Python 3 command, if your terminal is yelling at you a little bit, just make sure that you do have uh, Python 3 all installed on on your machine. So once all of those are installed, the one thing that I will mention while this is all loading, you will need an API key from OpenAI. So if you don't have an API key and you haven't used uh, the, their API yet, you're, you'll likely be able to get some free credits where you can play around with this for a little bit. Uh, I think like $5 or so worth of free credits. Um, but I'd imagine most people watching this video probably have played around with their API. So just grab an API key like you typically would. And then I'm just going to expand this here so we can see what's going on. And then we're just gonna move that uh, .example.env to a .env. So then just like we would in other projects, we're just going to put in our API key in our .env and just make sure to save that out. So once you've done all of that, you can go ahead and run the operate command. So in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say, look up the most recent LangChain release on Google. So you hear the screenshots that are being taken and those screenshots are being passed to the LLM to be interpreted. So you can see here, once that response has come back, it is actually taking actions on my computer. So any mouse movements or uh, inputs from the keyboard, none of those are me operating at this point. I'm hands off, hands in the air, just talking into the microphone. So as you see here, it's going ahead, it's uh, typing that within Google, it's uh, taking another screenshot, and it's very novel. Like it's just sort of hard to believe to see that all of this can do what it's doing. Now, because it's very new, there's definitely gonna be some bugs and in toying around with this, uh, the hit rate is definitely not super high, but some of those novel examples, you can sort of see like we're on the ground floor of this type of thing and it's likely only gonna get better from here. So I just wanted to show you this project um, Toy, toy with it, see what you have success with or things that you don't have success with. Please leave them in the comments for all of us watching and hopefully you enjoyed this video. That's it for this one. I'll just sort of leave this running in the background here, but that's it for this one. Uh, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And otherwise, until the next one.